Well, hi there, everybody. Uh, Farm Sim Gamer here, and welcome to my map tour of Ravensburg. Um, now, I'm going to try and keep this as uh, short and concise as I possibly can. There's an awful lot of detail and features in this map, um, but what I'm not going to do is a drive around kind of tour of the whole map in, um, and looking at every single buy point or sell point or, or whatever. Um, so, I think it's always nice to kind of, uh, if you've got a new map, to be able to explore it yourself. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at the um, map features, I'm going to look at some of the special features. I'm going to do a little um, kind of fly around tour of the map, finish up at uh, looking at the um, uh, the two farms, particularly the the, uh, the main farm that you get if you start in new farmer mode. Then we'll look at a couple of other specifics at the end and I'll just touch on precision farming as well. So to start things off, Ravensburg is a fictitious map, but fairly typical of the landscape that you would expect to find in the middle part of Germany. There's some really wonderful attention to detail, which includes this model style railway that meanders through the countryside. The map is by Top Ace 888, which you may remember from uh, producing Minibrun, and it's a regular sized map. Now there are uh, 44 fields in total, the smallest field 43 is just over 1 hectare, the largest field 22 is just over 8 hectares. There are 7 meadows or weiss as they're known in Germany, denoted by the W on the map, and there are 18 woodland sections which um, also include some small separate placeable areas that you can buy for some of your machinery. There are two pre-built farms, one in the north of the map, one in the south. Um, they are completely sellable, including the borders and the fences. They both have cow sheds installed, each of them, and they both have vehicle wash bays as well. There are two animal stockyards, uh, which is quite unique. One's located in the uh, southern town, one in the north town, and there's also a horse stables, which is next to the animal stockyard in the north. There are six separate placeable areas of different sizes. Uh, some of them are concrete strips like you can see in the top picture. Um, two of them are just grass fields that are next door to the two farms, um, which will enable you to expand your farms if you choose to do so. There's a BGA located in the north part of the map. Um, the drop point for that is inside one of the buildings. And there are also lots of sale points. Uh, there's eight for crops, two for wool and cotton, two for wood, one for wood chip, two for bales. Um, and in addition, there are three separate railway silos that you can use for additional storage, uh, but also enable you to be able to transfer um, your crops into the train uh, to move them around the map. Now your start position in all modes is the middle of the main town uh, in the southern part of the map, but let's go and have a look at the map so we can put things into perspective. So here we are, so um, this is the main kind of town and as you can see from the map we're kind of split into two sections um, kind of separated by uh, this canal or waterway that runs from west to east. Um, so we're kind of a 60-40 split I guess with the southern part being the, uh, the larger section of the map. Um, so you start in the middle of the town here. Now the two farms are located one up here just south of field five. Now that's the, um, the starting farm if you uh, are in new farmer mode. The other one is located down here in the southern part of the map um, uh, surrounded by fields 23, 24, 31 and kind of 28. Um, so those are the two farms that you can get and like I mentioned earlier they uh, do come with um, uh, cattle sheds kind of built into to the maps. Now you can sell those. Um, the one thing I would warn you about is that the buildings are very specific to the farms themselves and they're not available to rebuy. Uh, but I'll get onto that a little bit later when we look at the two farms in a bit more detail. Um, so as you can see, there's a good spread of fields available. Um, if you do start in new farmer mode, then you get uh, fields nine and 10. Um, uh, but as you can see, there are some nice uh, kind of good sized fields that are surrounding that kind of main farm, or I say good size, they're not too big, um, so that they would enable you to be able to expand quite easily. Um, Map prices are pretty reasonable as well, as are the starting farm prices. Um, so if we look at the main farm up in the, uh, the north, €81,600. Um, and likewise, the uh, farm that's down in the south is uh, the same price, all but uh, €1. Euro. Um, 
and some of the surrounding fields uh, again are pretty reasonably priced the cheapest um, and smallest field field 43 is just over 70,000 euros the largest field 22 is uh, a little over 700,000 euros so um, uh, a broad range of prices um, but uh, a good selection of fields um, that you can get to if we look at the ones that are immediately around um, the starting farm itself um, they're around the 160,000 kind of mark um, some of them a little bit more expensive some a, a bit cheaper um, now a couple of other things that i would uh, mention if you do like kind of larger farming um, and you prefer to have some bigger fields then quite a few of the fields around here are easy to merge they've just got sort of mud tracks that run in between them so between fields one and two um, you could quite easily merge those likewise with the likes of three four five and the grass field that's kind of on the end here six and seven is fairly easy to merge as well and there are enough roads uh, that go around the map not to be able to you know kind of worry too much about taking up any of those tracks and things like that um, a lot of woodland areas as you can see and again all fairly reasonably priced um, there's an area uh, up in the uh, northwest kind of corner um, of woodland uh, and you will notice as well that there are some sort of uh, patches of ground uh, that you can buy separately um, that you can kind of put uh, sheds or machinery um, or th things like camp wood chippers or stuff like that if you're into doing a lot of forestry um, and again these are all quite reasonably priced as you can see a little area there that's just uh, under 13,000 euros the forestry areas are all quite reasonably priced as well and if we have a look at the southern part of the map um, there's some of those little kind of um, placeable areas within the woodland um, and the woodland areas are all kind of nice easy buyable chunks that are not too expensive now let's have a look at the map in a bit more detail um, now the shop uh, is located in the middle of the map uh, just here in the main town uh, now that does come uh, with its uh, workshop as you would expect uh, there's also a dog and a dog kennel there and there's also a forklift truck that you can kind of utilize as well if you need to load up pallets or or whatever else um, now one of the other things that you will notice as well is that there are an awful lot of um, buy points for the likes of seed fertilizers both uh, solid and liquid lime herbicide all located throughout the map so there's plenty of places that you can go off and buy stuff um, so here in the uh, port um, you will see this herbicide lime you've got liquid fertilizer you've got fertilizer here and seeds uh, there's more over here lime um, and liquid fertilizer and then up in the northern part of the map as well you've got uh, the likes of pig food fertilizer and so on and so forth so there's plenty of places that you can go off and um, buy uh, uh, all the elements that you kind of need for doing your farm now in the animal stockyard um, that's in the southern part of the map and as I mentioned beforehand there are two um, there's uh, an animal stockyard that's located just south of field 15 that's in the, the northern part of the map and then there's another one in the main town area as well. Now the one in the main town in the south um, does have manure and slurry uh, to purchase as well. So if you need those, then that's where you can go and get them. We've got two water points on the map. Again, one in the north, one in the south. There's a water tower up here in the uh, northern part of the map. And then down sort of tucked uh, in between some of the forestry areas, there is a sort of uh, a large pond or a small lake uh, that's located here as well for water points. Um, now the other thing that you might have spotted as well um, is that there are a number of workshops now, as I mentioned there's one by the shop itself um, there's another one up here um, just above field 15 uh, that you can take your vehicles to for repair and then also just adjacent to field 40 in the south there is another one down here as well so that's quite a unique feature because normally um, you'd either have something on the farm or you would have the one that's available in the shop but the fact that they've got a couple of others that are uh, available is uh, is quite handy um, there's also several fuel stations as well that you can see kind of dotted around um, one by that workshop just up in the northern section you've got some in the uh, middle part of the uh, uh, the map another one by the other workshop that's down near field 40 as well so plenty of places where you can go and get your fuel now another nice feature that I like is um, up at the northern part of the map just uh, to the south of field 14 uh, there is um, a wood selling point uh, which has got a, an operable crane um, and also in the southern part of the map 
um, down kind of within the forestry areas if I just zoom in here uh, there's also a kind of another um, area uh, where you can uh, load up your uh, logs and everything that um, uh, you've probably cut down and, and stuff like that kind of a bit of storage down here as well there's a couple of empty storage uh, sheds that you can kind of use for vehicles and machinery as well I guess um, and uh, like I said you can kind of get in um, uh, these cranes and you can uh, use them to um, load up uh, uh, load up your logs onto the train which can then transport them round to that northern uh, wood selling point now we do have one additional crop or fruit type which is uh, acker grass field grass uh, that's available but apart from that it's just the standard crops that are available on this map um, now if you're in new farmer mode then this is the farm that you start with that's up in the northern part of the map um, and you get um, you know some good storage uh, and everything in here uh, there's four kind of vehicle uh, sheds um, that are available most of which are pretty full up with uh, the equipment that you start with and I'll get into that in a bit more detail in a minute um, uh, you've got uh, the house here that you'll be uh, f familiar with um, uh, some good uh, small shed storage here and then the combine is situated over there there's a small silo uh, for your grain and then also um, you've got a number of storage silos that are available for the likes of fertilizer uh, seed uh, you've got a tank there for both liquid fertilizer and herbicide and then just around the other side here you've also got a tank um, or, or um, uh, a silo for your lime. Um, now, uh, there's several access points in and out of this field, which are pretty handy. There's a tarmac road here that just goes off down to the main road. Um, and one of the other nice features as well is that there's kind of a new grass texture, um, which is uh, uh, really great, I think. Um, yeah, you've got little flowers in it and everything as well. Um, and this is one of those kind of placeable areas that sits next to the farm here. So if you did start in your farmer mode and as you gradually kind of grew your farm, you wanted to expand and put some extra buildings, um, then this is an ideal location to be able to do that and particularly if you wanted to maybe add in some of the other animals as well. So as I mentioned before, the equipment loader is pretty good. Um, we've got a forage loading wagon here. We've got a TDK trailer, a couple of weights for the tractors um, in the shed over here. Um, one of the tractors was parked up in here when you uh, kind of first start, but uh, we've got a planter there. Um, we've got a tether, a mower, windrower, and uh, the uh, uh, kind of front forks for one of the tractors. Um, we've got uh, the truck as well, uh, water tank, um, uh, there's one of the the, uh, the the tractors just the small in New Holland uh, we've got a fertilizer um, a lime spreader um, and a herbicide sprayer as well and then the combines just kind of positioned over here in the other shed and that's got both a regular header and a corn header and a header trailer as well um, and there's um, we've got out in the uh, out the field uh, we've got uh, the slightly older case tractor as well. Um, that's ready to do a bit of uh, a bit of um, subsoiling and drilling. Um, so uh, we need to get on with that at some point. Uh, but that's also got the regular cedar and the uh, seed tank on the front of it as well. A couple of balloons that you can see there up in the air, which is quite nice. Um, our field is in desperate need of a bit of uh, spraying, so we'll get onto that at some point as well. Um, now the cattle shed. Um, uh, you do start with 12 cows. Uh, the loading point for the cows is just here. Your feeding point and your straw point is just inside there as well um, the water point is just uh, over here off to one side um, and then uh, around the other side of the building uh, we've also got uh, the milk collection point we've got the manure uh, bunker and the slurry point as well um, now this does have um, manure system support um, both here um, at the cow shed at the other farm and then also up at the BGA uh, so that's quite a, a nice separate feature if, uh, if you like running the, the uh, manure system Right, I'm just going to do a fairly quick fly around the map. Um, we're just starting over here, um, just to the uh, west of Field 8. Um, uh, and as you can see, there um, here's the canal. Uh, there's the port area. There's a, a couple of crossing points over the uh, over the canal. Um, here's one of the selling points down here. And you, you can see um, there's also some of those um, buying silos as well for the likes of fertilizer, lime, etc. Um, then we just work our way slightly west and up over to... Um, uh, above field sort of one and two um, these are uh, sort of some of the slightly larger fields that are available um, and as you can see and I mentioned beforehand um, there's just a track that separates the two so if you wanted to merge these then you could do that pretty easily um, there's a forest area just off to the side here which is quite close and convenient to the uh, the main farm if you start a new farmer mode um, and if uh, I just hover over here you'll see kind of this little open 
um, area which you could potentially use for sort of placeables or a bit of machinery storage or something like that if you're doing some forestry up here. Just over to uh, the side we've got uh, field uh, 3, 4 and 5 which again you can see um, are only separated by grass strips so they are um, easily to merge likewise sort of 6 and 7 down here as well. Um, so that's kind of uh, nice and simple. Here's the main farm uh, that you would get if you were in new farmer mode. Uh, now we already started doing a little bit of work down here actually. Um, field 9 that we got uh, that did have oats in it so we've harvested that and replanted uh, and field 10 is kind of waiting for seeding and everything. Here's the uh, the main town that's up in the northern part of the map and there's a few by points that are here as well. Uh, one directly uh, below us there, another one just over to one side. Um, then uh, here just below field 14 you can also see that crane that I mentioned so that's the wood selling point up here in the northern part uh, so you can use that crane to unload the uh, the train and sell your wood. Uh, placeable area directly in front of us that you could buy if you wanted to uh, to build your own farmyard um, and one of the spinneries that's located just down there as well. Water tower directly in front of us and then if we fly over this to the sort of northern eastern side of the map there is the BGA down there. Um, now we'll just pop down in here very very quickly um, just so I can show you where the um uh, the drop point is. Uh, so that's located kind of just um, inside uh, here. So this is where you would drop off um, uh, any items of solage or whatever it is that you bring up to the BGA. A couple of bunkers just off to the side here as well. Not particularly big but they're big enough and uh, there's a storage shed here as well um, if you wanted to leave any equipment up here. Now just flying up uh, again I'm just going to um, head uh, over towards um, uh, kind of the canal again and go down the eastern side of the map you can see there's some more selling points that are just off to one side there uh, this is where the horse stables is and the animal stockyard that's in the northern part of the map um, the horse stables is really just that kind of outdoor pasture area the standard one that's available there is a training paddock um, and the animal stockyard and a bail point but uh, that's not part of what you would purchase if you're buying the uh, buying the horse stables um, then just going again south over the um, over the canal uh, mainly fields sort of over here there is another little bit of uh, small kind of residential area as you can see um, just uh, in front of us there and then a couple of other cell points just down below us and also some of those other kind of buy points for the likes of liquid fertilizer herbicide etc um, now if we turn around and then uh, head west again uh, we will come to the, the main town, the biggest town out of the two which is in the southern area um, and again quite a lot of um, selling points, quite a lot of buy points that are all located here as well particularly in the port area. Um, if I just drop down slightly you can see some of those um, buy points that are here. Um, so we've got this one uh, for uh, seed, uh, we've got a couple in the middle here for the likes of fertiliser um, etc and then there's uh, some just over here as well. So uh, I really love the attention to detail that's in this port area, I think it's really really nice um, and uh, uh, it's you know, a, lot of, a lot of detail. If we just cross over the road we will come to the, um, the main shop. So that's located just down behind us. Again, I'll drop down just so we can kind of see this. Uh, there aren't any um, operating hours for this. It's open all the time. The workshop is just off to one side over here. If we venture across the courtyard, um, we will see the actual shop itself. Not particularly big, not particularly grand. Uh, there's the dog kennel. Hopefully the dog will appear at some point very shortly. Um, and there is the uh, forklift truck uh, that you can get in and use. So that is operable. Uh, you can use that to load up pallets and things like that if you need to. Um, so there we go. I heard the dog somewhere. He's around. Maybe not. So if I just jump up in the air again, um, so really nice town area, quite big and sprawling. There's the uh, the church uh, where your start point is, um, if uh, whichever mode you start in. Um, the castle there up on the hill, which I think is the same one from Felsburn, not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure uh, I'm pretty sure it is. Um, then if we venture just uh, again over the fields, we will come to the secondary farm, uh, which is just over here. Um, uh, now the farm buildings and everything in here are pretty much identical to uh, what you get in the uh, uh, in the main farm in the north uh, where you start new farmer mode. So you get the same number of sheds, uh, you get all of those um, storage silos for your fer fertiliser, her uh, herbicide, seed etc etc. Uh, you do get your uh, same farmhouse, same uh, grain silo and then just through the trees here as well you also get the same cow shed. Um, now there are some cows down here but they're not start of, uh, part of the herd that you would start with in new farm 
farmer mode. Um, so you only get 12 uh, cows for that, and they will be up in that um, uh, cattle shed that's up there. Another small uh, storage shed uh, just off to one side. And then if we just go over the top of the trees here, here you can see there's another large grass field area that if you wanted to expand your farm down here then you could do um, so if you're starting in farm manager mode the choice of farms really um, is kind of just down to location more than anything else because you pretty much get exactly the same uh, setup um, now if we travel further north um, there's a buying point here uh, uh, sorry selling point I should say um, uh, so I, I kind of like the wind turbines I think that's really good so this is where you can come and sell uh, wood and wood chips uh, so I think this is the energy farm and then as we venture um, off to the east hand side follow the kind of road here there's another small little bit of residential area there but that's kind of mainly architectural uh, you can see the castle up on the hill there and then most of the area down here is kind of woodland um, there's the small uh, lake or large pond um, down there the um, uh, sugar sell point so this is where you can sell sugar cane and sugar beet uh, you can sell sugar beet at quite a few other locations as well um, and then uh, mainly forest areas here and you will see that there's a few of these kind of patches that appear where you, again you can use for little placeable areas and this is the um, area that I mentioned uh, with the second crane it's got a bit of storage area here so this is where you could um, uh, uh, load up your lumber and everything onto the train which can then travel around to the north part of the island and you can sell it at that wood selling point up in the north um, so kind of that's mainly uh, you know the, the bulk of the map really um, so I'm just going to go back to the farm cover off a few final details so I'll see you there Right now, if um, you intend to do any landscaping, um, one thing I uh, can point out is that um, there are some additional uh, paint textures that are available. Um, so if you have a look down in the bottom um, right hand corner here, um, if you scroll through these, you will see that there are some additional ones, particularly things like cobblestone. Um, then there are also a number of different uh, grass textures that have weeds in them with flowers in them, several different bush states, etc, etc. Um, so they are all kind of being put in to um, match uh, what's available around the rest of the map so if you plan on um, kind of a, a adding and extending your farm then you can kind of match some of those textures which is really good um, now just going back into um, the actual um, shop menu there are a couple of modded vehicles in potato technology um, the Roper Tiger and the uh, Holmer Tero, uh, Terodos you would normally expect to see in kind of sugar beet um, uh, machinery uh, but there are modded versions here for potatoes and of course their corresponding headers um, are available as well in the um, uh, potato technology uh, section so um, be aware of those if you plan on doing some potato harvesting um, now a couple of other specific things um, the AI traffic um, does slow down at uh, intersections um, I think it's got a slightly higher speed of 45 kilometers as I've mentioned before there is support for the manure system uh, there are some adapted transport missions with new pallets it's seasons ready has maize plus support um, and there's also support for a mod called um, hot or HOT animated object extend not 100% sure what that is but I've got a funny feeling um, it might be where um, if you if you drive up to uh, a shed door or something in a vehicle that the uh, shed door will automatically open not 100 sure if you know leave a comment down below um, now you would need to install that specific mod but it is supported within the uh, within the actual map itself now for pc um, users only not for console i'm afraid um, there is multi-terrain angle with 32 different angles um, and those different uh, paint textures that i showed you in the landscaping tool um, the display of those names uh, down in that bottom right hand section is only available for PC and Mac users um, so there's a couple of extra details and the only kind of one other thing that I should mention is it is of course set up and ready for precision farming so if we have a little look at the map um, you can see that I have already taken one soil sample now if you haven't downloaded precision farming or you're not familiar with it you will see that up in the um, top left hand corner here next to the the, uh, the world globe uh, you get a second icon here for precision farming um, and that gives you access to a slightly different um, kind of menu over here on the right hand side uh, that shows you soil types pH nitrogen level and your yield when you get around to harvesting um, so I've taken one sample but we'll go back and do another one uh, in a minute and then we'll go and just have a look at uh, um, everything that we can kind of see across the map now I am using 
a, um, uh, a slightly modded version of precision farming, which has been done by TNT Modding. Um, now, he has basically extended the sampling range from the standard 25 metres that you get up to 4,000 metres, um, which means that you only need to do one single sample to cover the whole map. Um, now, you can put the Assyria Scout that you can see on the back there just onto the back of a regular tractor. You don't need to have the, uh, the Gator if you don't want to. Um, so what I'm going to do is um, I'm just going to go round to my field um, and I'm going to take an additional sample that hopefully will cover the whole map um, and we can then have a look at the um, uh, the, the soil samples uh, that we've got across the whole of the map not just the two fields that I own uh, so if you bear with me I'll go ahead and do this Right, so I'm in field nine. Um, I'll bring up the help menu just so you can see what I'm doing. Uh, so first thing I need to do is drop the Assyria Scout down just by pressing my V key. Um, I need to unload it as well um, uh, so uh, I can take the soil sample. Um, I'm then going to press my B key. Um, you can see there's a kind of bit of a flashing. That's that's because this is now taking a sample for the whole map. Um, as you can see, if I kind of load down uh, into there, you can see the first soil sample just in the little container there. And then all I need to do is press Y um, and send that off for sampling. Um, I can pack this away again. Soil sample's been done. You can see 100 euros uh, for the cost there. I can raise that back up. Um, and then that's that sample taken. So let's go and have a quick look at the map again now. And as you can see, um, previously it was only my field 10 that was done, a little bit of field 9. Uh, we now have um, the soil samples across the whole of the map. Um, so all the soil types are represented. We've got loamy sand, sandy loam, loam and silty clay. Um, and a, a kind of a reasonable mixture of all of them. And interestingly, you can kind of see that band of silty clay that goes across um, the middle of the map where the waterway is, which I guess you would probably expect a little bit. Um, now, in terms of uh, pH levels, uh, they're all kind of, kind of mid-range but I would anticipate that we'd need to probably put some lime down on our fields. Um, if you walk out into the actual fields themselves, then it can tell you the state of the lime, whether it's uh, kind of perfect or um, uh, poor or whatever. And um, as you'll probably expect, um, because we haven't had an opportunity to do um, much farming or put much uh, fertilizer down, um, most of the fields across the map do need quite a lot of nitrogen, as you would probably expect. You can see on field 10 here um, that I have put some fertilizer kind of down here um, we have um, uh, drilled our seed um, so it's got the next uh, crop growing in there and I need to go back and re-fertilizer over the top so that hopefully that will then change into a green state across all of field, field, uh, field 10. So that's it for the map tour. I hope you found it interesting and informative. Um, I think it's a really uh, great map. I think it's got a lot of interesting um, features and some really good attention to detail. Um, so I think regardless of whether you're an experienced uh, farming simulator player or uh, whether you're fairly new to the game, I think you would have a lot of fun and enjoyment playing this map. Um, so thanks for watching. And uh, if, uh, if you enjoyed the video, then please give it a thumbs up down, uh, down below. Um, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, then please do so. And uh, I'd be interested in getting your own feedback on the, the map and what you think. So please leave a comment down below. Uh, so I'm going to leave you with a few kind of images um, taken from around the farm. But uh, whatever you're doing, wherever you are, stay safe. Um, thanks for watching again. I do appreciate it. And uh, I'll catch you on the farm next time. Bye for now.